Okay, this is just a quick video going to show uh, an asker on Yahoo Answers how to disable Hallie's splitter. She's having trouble with it in her Movie Maker, which was very common with the XP and the Vista versions of Movie Maker, and now I guess is rearing its ugly head with the new versions of Movie Maker. First, come over here and just click on the Start button. You need to get to Windows Explorer. You can click on Documents, Pictures, Music, any of those. This area over here is Windows Explorer. You, under Computer, where it says C, you just want to click the triangle to open it. You want to go to Program Files by 86. Click the triangle to open that. It's all in alphabetical order. Just scroll down to Halley. Right click on it. Click on Rename. Put your cursor at the beginning and click. And in capital letters, just put O L. D. That and then press enter. Okay, yes, go ahead, rename it. And then of course it goes down to the O's. I rename files the same way by putting capital O L D in front of them. That way when I see old, number one, I know I renamed the folder, and number two, if I need to go back and change it to the original name, I know exactly what I have to do. Just remove the O, the L, and the D. Okay? When Movie Maker, for some reason, when this pops up, uh, it should disable this whole folder. Now, if it doesn't, the next thing you're going to have to do, there are two files in here. Click to open it. There's your Matroska splitter. Click that to open it. There are two files down in here that were real problems. These AX files were problems. Uh, in the Vista and the XP versions of Movie Maker, same thing. You want to right click on them and see, undo. The rename applies to everything here. But if you have a problem and you have to, you can also rename these AX files. You'd have to go back to this one. In other words, if there's some, after you rename the Halley Splitter, if there's something that doesn't work, you can go back and take off the OLD. Open the Matroska splitter folder and then just rename the two files that end in AX. And let me uh, just do that in front of you. I don't want to rename. Put the cursor right here. Back, back, back. Press Enter. Yes, rename it. Now you can go down here to these AX files. Right click. Rename. Okay right in front of the AX, capital O-L-D, press enter, unusable, yes, okay, and there you go, if you need to change it back, right click, rename, place your cursor, backspace, 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 and enter, okay, that's how you rename files to make them unusable without uninstalling a folder or a file. Sometimes that's helpful because you just want to see if a file is messing something up, but if you delete it and then find out you need it, it won't be there. So renaming files is a lot better sometimes than deleting files.